Welcome back, everyone. It's time for Cut for Time, three stories, one minute each. We start with this today. Elon Musk causing a stir on Twitter again, this time when it comes to Ukraine. Musk tweeting out this Twitter poll, what he claims is the most likely outcome of Russia's invasion. The tweets brought a string of criticism, including that of Ukraine's ambassador to Germany, who did not mince words. Well, and Zelensky as well tweeted yes. tweeted directly at Musk, uh, yeah. pushing back against this. I mean, just why? why? Why the poll? Why that's necessary from Elon Musk? I mean, you've got so many other things to be able to focus on. What's What does this actually kind of move forward? Well, tweets like that, I would say, really terrify you if he does end up owning Twitter. Uh, wow. Uh, the access and the platform he would have to crank things like this up to the other other level would be just immense. It's kind of difficult to imagine it cranking up anymore. I, he would own it just yeah. like it, it just. What it is, though, just, right? I, I don't I, I don't know where that would go. Um, and it's interesting because he sort of defended himself saying, well, I've done a lot for Ukraine. I provided Starlink, you know, to connect Ukraine to the outside world. And, and Gary, Gary Kasparov, the former chess champion, or I guess still chess champion, um, pushed back against that as well. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's stay on tech here uh, or switch gears to tech. The EU voted overwhelmingly in favor of enforcing USB-C as a common charging port today. This would impact a wide range of consumer electronic devices including the iPhone and AirPods. Many Apple devices currently use the lightning cable to charge. This ruling would be fully in effect by the end of 2024. Does this mean we have to go out and buy new cables? Do we get thank you, Wait, thank do we, you, EU. But like, do we get free cables? Do they send them to us? How no, does this work? How's this going to work? Probably not. But how dumb is it that they're, all the cables are different? It's come all on, awful. Come on. Oh, I, I got a new iPhone uh, recently, and it doesn't come with a brick anymore to plug the thing in. I, where's my brick? I want my brick. I don't want to pay 30 bucks for a brick. Give well, me a brick. Either you get the brick, or you have to. Everybody has to redo all of their plugs. You know, we're doing a renovation in our house. Mm -hmm. Many of our plugs now allow you to just plug in that sure. USB. But now are we going to have to redo, is that the right kind? I don't even know if it's the right kind. It's not, right. it's not because you, you have go to back now have the, the, well, not the lightning one, you have to have the USB-C one then, because that's what some of the, the new Apple blocks on the MacBooks and all of the well, other Just get rid of yeah. everything, so we don't have to plug anything in. No more phones. Wireless no more phones, charge. no more iPads, nothing. Just well, it should be everything. wireless charging. Who are you? What? Just go totally off the grid. Off okay, the <laughs> off the grid and get some pizza. Domino's Pizza is getting a boost after UBS upgraded the stock to buy, saying the concern over the demand slowdown is overblown. The note goes on to say the pizza chain looks more attractive than its competitors and consumers will still buy pizza even in an uncertain spending environment. And by the way, that spending environment is going to get spendier because the note also says Domino's going to be raising prices. That's my favorite technical term, spendier. <laughs> I think for the pizza companies that we have seen, not just in kind of how they've weathered a recession in the past, because if there is a purchase that consumers will continue to lean back into, even if they're looking for some type of value, yeah, it's the pizza. It's the digital integration, too, that when you sign up for some type of loyalty membership or rewards membership with pizza, you're going to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to sign up if they're going to give me some free wings with that pizza, too. Mm. That's that's meals for two days. Right uh, there. I'm, a, I'm a Pizza Hut and Papa John's guy. I like the buttery crust. Domino's does not put enough butter on the crust. We're going to say garlic sauce. They need to put more butter on the crust, Domino's. They need to step butter it up. Butter on the crust? Yeah, I think they just I didn't even know that brush. was a yes, thing. Oh, oh yeah. Thing. Yeah, got to. Oh, it's a thing. And Domino's does not have it. I don't know. I, don't I know you go to the local pizza spot. They don't put yes. butter on the crust. They don't Trattoria. Put yes. Yeah. First major chain to come out with a grandma's pizza, they will have my dollars. <laughs>